Hello Capricorn, what's going on? I hope you're doing very, very well. Um, my name is Diane, for those of you that don't know me, and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. And we're gonna do a quick general message for August, but you know, it's timeless. Uh, all of my readings are timeless, so whenever you happen to find this is when the messages were meant for you. You are very, very welcome here, Capricorn. Thank you for being here with me. I appreciate it very much. And if you feel called to like and subscribe for me, I would appreciate that a lot as well. So, oh, that came out super fast. You have the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, this is good. A situation suddenly moves forward, a time of positive change. Fortune is on your side. You got kind of a hunky looking Archangel Michael. <laughs> I don't know why they always make them so hunky looking. Um, that's kind of a lot. Right, so good things are happening. Ooh, Capricorn, 10 of Pentacles. Um, so this can talk about a commitment or it can talk about a lot of money coming in or like, uh, you know, signing a contract. So we'll have to see where this is going, but this is a good reading. So something's about to shift quite suddenly. That's the thing with the Wheel of Fortune, like things can feel very stuck for a long time, but you know, when it starts moving, like things change very quickly, you know? Okay, what's, uh, what else for Capricorn? The Ace of Cups, well, there you go. So you have a new love coming in here. Ah, oh, wow, what a very succinct reading. I like this. Could, you know, they've just drawn my attention here to, the, on this deck in particular, uh, the Ace of Cups talks about a new home. So some of you might be moving or you might be planning on moving. Okay, what else for Capricorn? The Nine of Wands. Okay, don't give up. You might be going through a hard time at the moment, but don't give up, okay? And you also have the Knight of Cups that's just come out here. So this is very much looking like a love reading here. Right, let's clarify. Clarify this uh, Wheel of Fortune. The Two of Swords. Okay, so something uh, like that's been a bit blocked is about to move forward. So this could be you or this could be the person that you're dealing with um, or it could be both of you, you know? Uh, like it, there could have been like a stalemate going on here or one person or another d wasn't making a decision or it could have been both of you, you know? Page of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles. So this is something new. I think you're about to get everything all at once here. When you have the Ten of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles, this is talking about something new. Um, there's good news about your money coming in here. Also, I wonder if you're thinking about branching out into doing something new. Okay, this Two of Swords here is, is about more than you and the, the new person coming in. This is about you maybe not quite feeling ready for all these new changes that are about to come in for you. Like in the past, maybe you didn't feel quite ready. Like maybe there was a little bit of resistance, like subconscious resistance, or you couldn't make a decision, something like that. But I feel there's new things coming kind of in all areas of your life because the Page of Pentacles usually talks about like a new job or studying something new or diversifying into something new or promotion or you know, expanding out with the field that you're already doing. Like maybe you want to, maybe you're a little bored of where you are and you want to do something more challenging. But you have like a lot of money coming in here and I want to say it's from something new that you're going to do. You have the Four of Pentacles here. I'm not sure where that goes, so I'm going to reshuffle it. Um, clarify and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, there's a lot here about money. Right, clarify this eight of, uh, Ace of uh, Cups. Mm. 
The Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands often talks about being like a little defensive. And you have the Seven of Cups, okay. So the Seven of Cups clarifying the Nine of Wands. So you've been through a lot. You or this person, you take it as it resonates, could be both of you. Um, maybe both of you have Capricorn in your chart. The Seven of Cups talks about something new being offered to you, but you're like, mm, <laughs> I don't know about this. Like all the people or, you know, all the situations that I've dealt with in the past have been kind of shitty. Mm, I don't know if I trust this new person or I don't know if I want to get involved with a new person because the Nine of Wands is really... You know, you've been through a lot, you've been burned. It's like the wounded warrior. And the seven of wands, like I said, is like being a little bit defensive. And you have the knight of cups with the king of swords. So this could be an air sign that's coming in for you. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. Um, but this person, they're, you know, they're gonna be, okay. So this king, king, king of wands, king or queen, whoever you're dealing with, like the two of cups, uh, very smart, very diplomatic, very good at speaking, usually very, very clever, but cautious. The king of swords is someone that's cautious, you know, um, it's like, let's, let's make, <laughs> this really wants to come out. Um, let's make a list. Let's weigh up the pros and cons. Like, let's make sure that I'm going to come out on top here, you know, before I make a move here. Like, I, you know, so this is someone who, yeah, they've been thinking, well, yeah, I would say when this person comes in, there might be a little bit of a delay because they've been thinking about it, but it'll be someone that like makes a list you know, or like weighs up the pros and cons. Yeah, they're a warrior. <laughs> the Nine of Swords. This is someone who's overthinking this. Um, should I do this? I don't know. What if it's, what, what if I get rejected? Or like, what if it doesn't work out? Or what if the person's not what I think they're going to be? But look at that. You have Judgment with the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Swords. So they will. They're trying to make some kind of decision here when you have the Judgment card. By the way, this is a past life connection. When you have judgment and the two of cups, that's someone that you've known from a past life. So maybe you guys were in love in a past life or you were family in a past life, or um, I don't know, you fought wars together or something in a past life, or you guys were like rocks, <laughs> or you were incarnated on a different planet together. But this is someone who worries. They've, I wanna say, They've maybe taken a, if you haven't met this person yet, this is how it's going to unfold. It's going to take them a while to decide whether or not they're going to ask you out because they feel very called towards you, but um, there's an energy with this person of like, oh, I don't know if I should do this. I don't know if this is going to work out. You know, so maybe you're both kind of in this seven of cups, nine of wands energy, but they will like. There's a point where they make a decision and they'll ask you out or they'll rush in kind of like it'll happen quick. You know what I mean? They'll just decide to do it. Because when you have the Knight of Swords with the Nine of Swords, that's an energy of just, you know, cutting through all the bullshit and just being like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. Like, fuck it. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> um, definitely past life here. You have Judgment, the Two of Cups and Justice. So you guys... You know, you were meant to meet each other in this life. Like you were meant to, you meant. I want to say you're like meant to be together basically in this life. So it'll happen kind of fast when you're not expecting it. Okay. So if that's the situation you're in. Don't, uh, just don't even worry. Just let it unfold. Um, tell me about this page of cups. Uh, sorry, the page of pentacles. See when they come out like that? It's like you've maybe been thinking about it, but you've not been doing it. Oh, the king, okay. You have the king of wands and the ace of pentacles. Okay. 
couple of things here. I'm going to talk about work first. No, I'm actually going to talk about love first because it's sitting right here in front of me. So this could also be you. You know that maybe you've been a little, you, you've been through the wars and like a new person, you're like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this. Like I've really been screwed in the past. I don't know if I want to do this again. Maybe I like my happy little life by myself, right? You know, maybe I I prefer the whole dum 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 dum, -dum. look because there's sadness. Ooh, look, five of cups, the of swords, the devil. Oh my God, five of pentacles. Yeah, this is definitely you, but I would say it's on both sides. Look, same, same cards. Wounded warrior, thinking something's too good to be true, being left out in the cold, toxic relationships, broken hearts in the past. So it's on both sides, but this person here, this new person could be, um, they could be a mix of air and fire. Um, Aries Leo Sag, very good looking person, male or female, very good looking, usually someone that's like uh, leadership type energy, like in whatever respect for their career. You know, they're usually like the boss or they're the CEO or they're the manager or they own their own business, something like this. Um, Especially, actually, when you have the King of Wands and the Seven of Wands, this is someone that gets quite a lot of attention. Like, they, um, they stand out. This is someone that really stands out, so that could be something for their career. Like, maybe they stand out for what they do, or they get a lot of attention for it. The King of Wands. This person's an excellent speaker when you have the King of Swords with the King of Wands. Um, you know, they could even be, like, on a platform or up on stage or so something like this. But they've been through a lot of crap as well, <laughs> okay? They're a bit of a wounded warrior. They've been through a lot. So they've been thinking, mm, I don't know, they've been like, they've been watching you. They feel like you stand out. Um, the three of wands. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Seriously? <laughs> okay. Hold on a second. Spirit just threw like half the deck on the floor. I don't know why. <sighs> okay. Right. Okay. Let's just try that again. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Thank you. Oh, the Page of Pentacles. You know, you might meet this person through something new that you do, like a new job or, um, you know, a new course online or a new evening class or something like that. The Chariot and the Star. Tell, tell me, what, what is this Ace of Pentacles? Ace of Wands. Okay, so there's like a lot of um, passion here. When you have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, there's like a lot of feeling very attracted to someone, like feeling very excited. And it's overcoming, because I feel like maybe this person, I feel like maybe you're both kind of defensive. Because <laughs> um, there's been a delay here with the Hanged Man. There's been a delay. So maybe you're both kind of a little defensive, but I feel like the pull towards each other is more, like it's outdoing the defensiveness, if you see what I mean. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. It's been slow moving, so yeah, this is definitely, it's not like a fast moving energy that you've been dealing with here. death card here so there could have been um some kind of ending or like a dark night of the soul uh, or some something like this that prevented this from moving forward quicker 
Mm. The strength card with the Queen of Swords. So you maybe you or this person were like a little defensive again. Like the Queen of Swords is, you know, someone that's been through a lot, right? Oh, look, the King Queen of Swords. Wow. So this is both of you have been through quite a lot. So, you know, you just you're just cautious about who you let into your energy now. I would say on both sides. Um, and also the strength card is. You know, maybe you've had to be quite strong by yourself for quite a long time. The strength card is again slow. It's been very slow on both sides. <laughs> um, okay, tell me about this page of pentacles then. There could be something about traveling with this person because you have the um, king of wands with the Three of Wands, which can talk about traveling. This is someone who's getting ready. To, okay. They're very suspicious, <laughs> this King of Wands energy, like the, the wounded warrior here. And I think you're very suspicious as well. I'm sorry. I think you're both quite suspicious. There's. Again, the Nine of Wands is coming out, like Wounded Warrior, been through a lot, Ten of Swords, um, there's been some kind of ending. You know, maybe a tricky ending that has taken you a while to recover from, the Five of Cups, there's been some sadness here, Seven of Wands, there's been some defensiveness that has been needed to work on and overcome, like there's that Two of Swords, but then we have this Fool, this leap of faith towards each other and the happiness. Oof. Okay. There could have been like a lot of stop start in this connection. It feels like that. Tell me about this page of pentacles. Pathway. Courtship. Okay, so this page of pentacles here, um, I feel like it's also about your career, by the way, but we're going to come back to that because this love is kind of taking over the reading. So I don't know if you're a bit of a workaholic and, you know, I know you're a Capricorn, but um, maybe you have a tendency to kind of put work ahead of dating or something, especially if you've had, you know, some rough endings in dating, but I feel like maybe Spirit wants you to I don't know, maybe dating is going to come to the forefront for you because it's kind of dominating the reading. But I want to come back to that, you know, your career. I'm going to pull a couple of cards on that. But the Page of Pentacles, when you have it twice, I feel like this is both of you, okay? But this King of Wands here, um, the, when you have the Page of Pentacles, this is someone, yeah, it's both of you. You may have met through work though or something new, like you, you tried to do something new or you're doing something new. I shouldn't say tried, I'm sure you're doing it very well. Um, but this is, I want to say two people that maybe haven't dated for a while. You know, when you get that page of pentacles energy, it can be two people that are a little shy, like they haven't dated for a while. And it's this type of energy of like, please don't squash me. <laughs> like, please, please don't, you know, break, break my heart. Um, but it's beautiful like this is someone they're going to I want to say this is someone that's going to be asking you out here with this uh, ace of pentacles okay but like I think it's taken a long time and I think you're both very cautious and there could like I said be something to do with travel as well could be an issue um, but it's really sweet you have the ace of cups and the ace of wands so you know you're both very intuitive. Like this may have been a connection that was, you know, there wasn't much evidence for it in the 3D, but it's like you can both feel it. Um, but the Ace of Cups is like divinely guided love, overflowing love. The Ace of Wands is being very inspired by someone, being very attracted to someone. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, the Ten of Pentacles, this is, that's commitment. They're actually drawing my attention to happy family life on that Ten of Pentacles. So this could be a relationship that's leading to like, you know, marriage, moving in together, happy families. You have judication here, which is a decision. 
And you have imprisonment and marriage. Journey. Yeah, there's something to do with this three of wands here. Like, it's some kind of journey. Oh, this king of wands has been procrastinating about this a little bit. <laughs> uh, about making a decision to do this, like to come see you or to ask you out or whatever it is, okay? them or both of you but there's there's a little bit of an issue with marriage here I want to say it's on both sides uh, you're both very clever as well is what I want to say the king and queen of swords is like very clever logical people you know it's like well let's consider the you know how's this gonna work out let's not rush in here <laughs> um, there's a little bit of Maybe not wanting to give up your freedom here with the with the whole marriage thing, or you're worried that if you if you do get married or you get into like a long term relationship with someone, like they're gonna I don't know steal your money or steal your freedom or something like that. Like maybe you're very independent. You know, there could be something like that going on here as well. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Toil and labor. Concern. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. High honor. There's something that you're going to do here as well. Um, Yeah, look, it's cut straight to leadership role here. So there's something new that you're going to be doing. When you have that concern card, you know, it's a number 33, which talks about a teacher. The um, being a teacher, like a life path, number 33, which you can look that up. Um, there's something that you're going to be doing that's quite like a high honor. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Successful self-employment. You're about to do very well in something like, particularly if you are self-employed, there's, there's something about you like accepting a leadership role or stepping into a leadership role. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Online platform growing. So that could be for those of you that have an online platform. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Leading a team or a large group. Um, Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. A career change, this could be something new that you're doing. Particularly, see if you've if you found that your current job that you're doing is very labor intensive or it's very, you know, you're putting in a lot of hours and you're putting in a lot of effort and you're just not making the money that you should be making. That's what's gonna change because there's abundance coming in for you, okay? Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. You're a light in this world. Oh look, you've been doing shadow work here. So that might be something that you resonate with, like it's taken a while for this new job or this new business to take off because you've been doing shadow work. Um, but something that you're gonna be doing 
definitely a new beginning here. Lots of new beginnings, but you're gonna be like shining a light in this world. So you're gonna be like, you know, inspirational to people or people are gonna really like what you're doing or what you're saying or how you're doing it. It could be a podcast. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Tarot reader, oh, you guys could be, look, online tarot reader. That could be what you're about to do. Okay, anything else? Well, look, podcast, finding your divine purpose. So for some of you, literally, your divine purpose could be a podcast and you have successful online platform. Again, you have the Queen of Swords down here. So the Queen of Swords talks about someone who is basically, um, they kind of take in information from the ether and translate it somehow, you know? So you're sort of downloading information and then giving it to people somehow. So for a lot of you, that could be like a podcast, tarot reader, but for others of you, you know, whatever job it is that you do, you're downloading a bunch of information. So maybe you make movies or you teach or, you know, like maybe you're a teacher, but you're a good teacher because you have a certain way of phrasing things that makes it very easy for people to access the information. You see what I mean? Or you're a counselor or you work one-to-one -one with people, but you just always know what to say. And that's why people like working with you so much. You have abundance is coming again. I feel like it's abundance that you've been waiting a long time for. Is there anything you want to tell us about this um, King of Wands? Counselor. So this person could be a counselor of some kind. Your psychic gifts are heightening. They could be quite psychic, this person. They're showing up as the King of Swords, so they, they could be, um, this card here says, speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, balance mental and emotional considerations. So they could do something where they're like a counselor, you know, they're a professional counselor or they're good at counseling people. Like they always have the right thing to say, you know, they always know what to say or they're very well read in a particular topic or something like that. Tell me about this King of Wands. I'm just gonna get three more. You have someone new will adore the blank out of you. So that's this new person here. They're definitely a warrior though. <laughs> um, but they're gonna get past that. Oh, drink more water. Watch what you're drinking. I don't know if that's you or this person, but that could be for you. If that sounds like you, then take that message. What else about this new person? Here's one more card. Manifestation coach. So this person could be some kind of manifestation coach. They might um, manifest, uh, I see the Ace of Cups there. So it could be about self-love or they could help people manifest love. Um, they have some kind of calling though, like whatever it is they do, it's their calling. They, you also have the Knight of Cups there, so they're very sweet. Um, very, you know, when you have Cups energy, so that's a nice combination. Like they're very smart, but they have a high emotional intelligence as well. So they're probably very creative. They might work for a charity or, um, yeah, like softer things like counseling, emotional work, spiritual work. Uh, they're very enthusiastic, this person. They have a lot of energy, like a lot of passion for what they do. They're very romantic. Um, they might come across as someone that's not very emotional, but they are. Okay, they secretly, they secretly are. Um, they're secretly very romantic and like emotional and stuff. And they, they think a lot. This person's very, very smart and they think a lot. 
they're some kind of professional thinker. I don't really know what that means, but yeah. Whatever they're, they do, like they're, them being intelligent is like very important to what they do. And also when you have the King of Swords, they could be police. I know this is like a, a bit of a random swing here, but the King of Swords is like very militaristic. So they could have, they could be like that in their day to day, you know, like they like to have a strict schedule or they used to be in the army or the police or uh, something like that. Also it could be an engineer, mathematician, things like this. So that's your messages, Capricorn. I know it's a super long reading, but hopefully it was a good reading. Uh, many thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. I would appreciate it very much. And as always, I wish you many blessings, uh, love and light. Take care.